everyone welcome to Marika Creations today I will share with you how I made a magic book cover I had a thrifted book it's about um, the history of magic but the content really doesn't matter it's a good sized book perfect for the coffee table but I did not like the cover of it so I have changed that out to fit my decor and to give that little bit magic mystic feel to it so stay tuned for this This is my book. Beautiful, isn't it? Great size, not a fan of the purple, so I will redo it. And I start out with putting some corner pieces in cardboard, just measuring how large I want them and just cut them out with my scissors like that. And another one for the other corner. Then I just hot glue them into place, like so. On the spine of the book I want some ridges too. So I will put some thin nautical rope into place, just with some hot glue, like that. Two on the top and two on the bottom part of the book. I will use a papier mache technique on my book and for that I need some glue to attach the pieces of paper. And I got a recipe from a friend the other weekend environmental friendly just one cup or whatever measurements you have of flour and three cups of water so three to one just heat it up as you would a sauce bechamel and just whisk it along the way until it's thick and then just put it aside to cool down a little bit so you won't burn yourself and now I have this packing paper that I will use for my papier mâché and I just tear apart pieces that are manageable and put my glue on one side of that paper like you see me do here and then placing it out I start with the corners let it overlap a little bit so I will have a nice finish over the edges just press it down around the book like that and on the inside it doesn't matter how it looks because I will cover that up and give it a nice finish at the end and when I am done with the placement, I take some more of my glue and just smear it out and press out any air bubbles, like so. And I continue in the same fashion until I have completely covered this book. With this packing paper, the book will look like old leather and I don't mind tiny wrinkles here and there not too many though because the the paper might um, not stick if there are too many air bubbles or wrinkles but I want to make it look like vintage old leather and here you can see how I cut the corner so it will be a nice fit like that Now everything is almost covered and I am working on the ridges on the book spine. Same fashion here, just pressing down, smooth out as much as possible. It will be a bit more wrinkly here, but uh, I don't mind really.
I will go in and double layer a little bit where I see fit, where I think I need some extra paper like here, just to have a nice finish towards the spine. Just smooth everything out. This glue is perfect. I love it. So, so love it. Some extra on the spine as well to really cover those ridges. So I will continue covering the whole book back and front and I will come back to you once completely dry. Before setting it aside to dry I will put a coin in between the ridges, one on each, like that, just hot glue it into place. And then I will cover the edges with some uh, packing paper, you will see right here, it will form like a triangle on top of that coin to keep it in place but also to incorporate it really in the book like it's part of the book. I will embellish the front of the book with this Celtic knot that I have in several of my creations throughout my home. And I will trace it with just carbon paper like you see me do here on a piece of cardboard. And then I will take my exacto knife and cut out the pattern like you see me do here. And this Celtic knot represents the eternal flow of life energy and the circle that is intertwined in that knot protects this process. Beautiful, I think. So this Celtic knot will be placed on the front cover of my book. I will place it like that and I just take some ordinary glue and put on the back side of my Celtic knot like you see me do here. And then I will just place it and put something heavy on top and set it aside to dry for a bit and now I'm back and I will embellish the front even further and I will take my stencils that I've used on furniture pieces before and some spackle and uh, yeah just put that spackle on the stencil like you see me do here just hold it in place so i won't mess up and then it will create a relief that i can embellish with color later on I like that beautiful isn't it and on the bottom part of the book as well so it will surround my celtic knot On the back of the book I will take another stencil and just put it right um, approximately in the center of the book like that. Same procedure here, just put spackle on top of it, holding it into place and it will turn out beautiful like that and set that to dry. But before I do that I will with my paintbrush take some extra spackle and smooth out the edges of my Celtic knot because I don't want that harsh transition between the cardboard and the book. Mm -hmm. 
and I will do the same around the ridges on the spine around the coin there it was a little too wrinkly for me so I smooth that out with some spackle and then set it aside to dry a lot of drying sessions here the last thing I will do before painting is to put some half beads into place on the spine as you see me do here and then on the corner pieces as well. Time to paint and I have mixed some brown, some gold, some black, some white together to create this chocolatey, leathery look. So I put on two coats to have a nice base to work with. And also on the back a little bit, just on the edges. And here I have started to age my look around the corner around the edges put some black some darker browns just blend it together to get that vintage feel and I will do the same around my Celtic knot to get a shadow and also inside the openings there and then I will start painting my Celtic knot and I will have sort of a metallic effect on it in greys and golds but before I do that I go in with black in the grooves of my reliefs my flowers to get more dimension later on when I apply more paint and now on to my Celtic knot here with some grace and some shadowing some highlights to make it come alive If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really, please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. As you can see here, I have started to dry brush with a white acrylic but you will also see me take that away because mm, white did not belong on this book. It was too bright, I want a more moody feel to this book. I will do the same here on the back just put some darker color in the grooves of my embellishment work my way around it and then I take white here as well to highlight my embellishment but I will as I said go in with black to cover that white and then on top of that I will put my creamy gold color to to create the highlights it looked much 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 better so I'm working to get that leathery feel to get dimension in the colors different shades of brown black and blending it together until I'm happy with the result And here I'm taking my creamy gold color, 
put on highlights on my Celtic knot and on my other embellishments as well. As you can see, I've still not taken those white highlights away, but in the next image you will see it has been done. Here it is and it's already all dry and the last thing I will do is to take my satin finished varnish and apply one coat all over this cover. Now for the inside of my book, I'm taking different shades of brown black here as well to create that leathery look and then I have a piece of a cardboard looking paper, thicker paper that I just glue into place like that and as an extra touch I have this Celtic symbol, the Celtic knot as well that I have just taken a photo of a piece of jewellery that I had at home just print it out and cut it out with my scissors and place it there in the center and now I'm shadowing dry brushing the whole piece and taking a gold color and fill in that Celtic knot like you see me do here and I will do the same on the back side of the book as well When I closed my book after it had dried, you can see there, right there at the spine, it has cracked a little bit, just the paper. I don't mind that cracking effect, but did you see the color of the paper there? So the only thing I will do here is to just to take my brown that I have used in my creation and just fill in that crack. I don't mind the crack itself because it makes it look even more vintage and worn from another century. And here it is, my beautiful magic mystic book, perfect for Halloween and beyond. I think I will keep it in my home for a long time. There you can see what I did on the inside. And here is the back of the book. So tell me, what do you think of uh, my book cover that I created today? Leave me a comment down below. And this is where I placed it on my coffee table. Looking perfect here with the witch hazel and everything I love it if you like this video and videos like this hit that like button and the subscribe button and share with a friend it will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you So if you want more inspiration straight away, just hit that uh, DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.